Some may recall the band from the 1970s who sang that one is the loneliest number. Not this weekend, not in this town. It's the onlyest number, in fact. Lou Whitaker proudly wore number one for 19 seasons with the Tigers. It's being retired by the team this weekend. As in Ty Cobb, the greatest player ever played the game, our name's yeah. gonna be on the wall with him. All about me. With the name of Smile. I cried on the air when Jack Morris and Alan Trammell were inducted into the Hall of Fame, and I will cry when the Whitaker gets to Cooperstown as well. Would you ever imagine that you would come back this many years later, and still this many people would want to wrap their arms around you and love you as much as, as you will see on Saturday? <laughs> Now that gets me. <laughs> How you doing, Motor City? Hey, what's up? <laughs> How you doing, young man? Right, How's it going? All right, good. All right, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you. All right. You got to play all positions today, <laughs> don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jack of all trades. I know. Yes, sir. Make sure. sure you got it. Good to see you, too. Good. Thank you. Hey, Jay, one of the things I've always liked about the way that you engage with your players. You always want to make sure that these guys kind of know who came before them. Yeah, it's important. I mean, we wear this uniform and, and you know, it, as humbling as it is, I mean, they're going to be, more people are going to wear this after us and many people have worn this uniform before us. And I take great pride in in, in introducing a lot of the, uh, the, the the old timers, the guys that came before us. Skipper! Hey, Lou. Hey, Dave. What's happening? Oh, you too, man. Man, I tell you what. Fine years, man. What a big day, huh? We'll enjoy the ceremony. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we got to get you. Uh, we got to get you down to Lakeland in the uh, in the spring. Mm -hmm. You're welcome anytime. Pop, okay. pop down for a weekend or a couple okay. days. All right, sounds good. Come and uh, come and drop some wisdom on these guys. We need we need some some growth. Hey, Detroit, Detroit. Thank you, Detroit. A quote from Maya Angelou, you can't really know where you're going until you know where you've been. Well, history is celebrated on this day at Comerica Park, and so many Tiger legends have gathered for the party as Sweet Lou's number one is officially retired by the team. This is a special day. When you have a number retired, it's a big deal. Today is Sweet Lou, and I can't wait to see his reaction down on the field when the unveiling takes place. It took a long, long time for it to come. It's finally here, and we're celebrating the best we can. The whole family. All the guys are here. Y'all met them. And we're just happy. And we're proud of them. Good afternoon, Tiger fans, and welcome to today's special pre-game ceremony presented by Mountain Sports Detroit. Today we honor one of the great players in Tigers history, second baseman Lou Whitaker, with the Please turn your attention to the Vivian Award. We remember the career of one of Detroit's great sports icons. Humble beginnings. Why is it that our greatest heroes so often come from humble beginnings? He may not have been born here, but Sweet Lou is Detroit. There will never be another one like Sweet Lou Whitaker. For years, I've been uncomfortable. I'm extremely honored and grateful to have my number three retired. But there wouldn't be a number three on the wall without number one. Congratulations, Lou, on having your number one retired. Well, Lou, you might not realize this, but you were one of my all-time favorite teammates. That's really what a celebration is about, is hearing the compliments from your, the people that you love, and they're the ones that really can speak about 
what you accomplish, you know, as a player on the field. Number one. This will be one of the greatest moments in my life. The moment we have all been waiting for. Tigers fans, please direct your attention to center field where number one has been permanently added to the Comerica Park brick wall. Fitting tribute to one of the greatest icons in Detroit sports history, Tigers franchise legend, Lou Whitaker. Until uh, they unveiled it, you know, I was pretty cool. As soon as I saw the unveiling, you know, they teared up a little bit. Mr. Elliott, of course, says, you know, well deserved. Amongst Tiger uh, history forever. You know, well spoken words. I appreciate everything. I thank all you fans in Detroit. You made us what we are today by supporting us, being there. What do you hope your lasting legacy is on this city? My love for baseball and the fans' love for baseball, that's what I would like to leave uh, for Michigan is to continue to love their Detroit Tigers as they do. He did everything he could. He did his best. I mean, he gave his all. He loved the game. He woke up playing the game, everything. I mean, he just, baseball is his life. So when you put that much effort into something, you go for your best and you win. It was incredible. It's well deserved. He should be in the Hall of Fame. Hopefully that'll be rectified, but uh, it was an incredible ceremony. It was great to see Mr. Whitaker out there getting the uh, applause that he deserves and the recognition he deserves. Special night here at Comerica Park. We're getting ready for the third game of a four-game weekend series. Tigers and Tampa Bay Rays. Lou Whitaker just had his number one. Retired. And I think Kirk Gibson, you played with him for a long, long time. And I would guess you were pretty emotional as yeah, you watched it. I gotta make sure I watch it again, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, so eloquent with everybody's words were and uh, proud to be a teammate of Lou Whitaker's and really the part of the Tigers organization. Now the Tigers will try to take this game tonight from the Rays, put themselves in position to at least split a four-game series. Single line drive, base hit down the left field line. That's heading toward the corner. Santiago's going to wave him around third. Go to the plate, and not a time! Castro scores as the ball bounces off the chest protector of the catcher, Bethancourt. Tigers take a 2-1 lead. To left field. That'll get down and by David Peralta all the way to the fence. Willie Castro scores with ease, make it 4-1 Detroit. It was cool to come out and, and honor him, you know, with the ceremony and then followed by one of our better games of the year and, and in front of one of the best crowds that we've had. That, um, you know, put all that together and it's quite a night. Into score comes Castro. Right behind him, Green, 2-1 double for Baez, 6-1 Tigers. That's down in a fair ball. Baez will score. Miguel Cabrera drives in run number seven on the night. Rays down to their last strike. This crowd urging Castillo to finish it off. Castillo ready for the 3 2. Swinging a ground ball to third, fielded by Candelario. Easy toss to first. Tigers win. To the Tigers' credit, every one of those players was sitting in the dugout watching that ceremony, and I'm sure they, they felt a little bit of, wow, look at that magic that they had. It's a sweet day for Sweet Lou in downtown Detroit.